Friday, August 6th, 2021. Um, yeah, I just got done uh, with a piece of writing. Um, and I just occurred to me, it's like, these are my problems. These are my concerns. This is what I do. Okay. Um, yeah. I have uh, a whole different idea of what uh, problems are and how I handle them. Um, I was just thinking about how, you know, and I guess I like it. I like not having typical problems. I mean, I don't know how not to have typical problems. Does that sound right? Not to have to. I don't know. But I know what I mean. It's like I can't pretend at uh, the ordinary. I can pretend at it, but I will fail. Um, it's like I don't talk about normal stuff. Uh, not really. Um, and if I am, I'm traveling at different depths, or multiple depths, different dimensions, parallels. I don't know. But uh, if uh, it's like I like my uh, standard definition. Uh, my standard deviation of uh, categories of problems. It's like I, I don't have, um, I mean, I have my mundane problems, mundane problems of everyday life and living, but uh, then I have my other problems. And uh, are they favorite problems or just the problems I like to talk about and the ones I like to work on and, uh, you know, try to figure out, I don't know, that I'll never figure out. I can spend my entire life, and I probably will, working on whatever it is I'm working on, and I will never be any closer to discovering um, any different than what I already have. And it won't be a waste of time, but I will just be, yep, I was pretty close the entire time, but I never got there. And uh, I just think that's just how it is. I don't think it's supposed to be any different. Um, so, you know, mostly I'm just aware of it. That I'll just, I am limited. I do, I, I just, uh, I can get close, but that's about as good as it gets. And so like those fleeting glimpses of whatever it is that I'm trying to work on or figure out, that's, you know, am I okay with that? Some days more than others, but I get by. So I guess uh, I got home from work this morning and uh, you know, played a little bit of my nostalgia game, uh, you know, from back in the day, which I rediscovered. Um, you know, Diablo 2, you know, from back in, what was it, the late 90s? And, uh, yeah, so, it's still fun. I like it. Um, it's, it's automatic, and I don't have to think about it, and, uh, it's comforting. And there's no surprises. It's just the same as it ever was. And, uh, yeah, it's still frustrating too. It's hard, um, and I'm not any better at it. I'm probably worse, but it's a very simple game. But it's anyway. So I did that for like just a little bit before I got um, pissed off at something, and I was like, ah, I'm done. This is, I'm annoyed. <laughs> so uh, <sighs> then I took uh, watched a little bit of YouTube. And uh, then I laid down. I expected to lay down and sleep because I have to be at work in the morning. Uh, I expected to sleep 
uh, you know, hopeful, hoping for six or seven hours, but I guess it's warm, the apartment's warm, and uh, I just wasn't sleepy, I guess. I didn't run because my knee's bothering me, so I wasn't physically exhausted. So I, I woke up after like two hours and, you know, and I sat down in, in my chair and started writing. And I just sat there with nothing going on, alone in the house, just alone, alone. No one else even in the entire building. And I just sat in my chair with nothing going on, not even background ambient noise except for what's outside. Um, but I didn't even hear that because I'm just not even paying attention. Just sat down and started writing and just did that for three hours. And I didn't even notice. I had made a pot of coffee and I did successfully um, drink one cup of coffee and every so often I'd remember the coffee and be like, I should get another cup. But I'd have to get up and go get it. And every time I thought about it, I was like, no, I just, I'll just keep writing. So that's what I did. And it was only after I finished, and I was like, well, yeah, I have coffee. And it has a two-hour uh, cool-off function where like it'll stay on and keep it preheated or whatever for like two hours but then it shuts off for safety yeah and so yeah I, I I'd been sitting there in one spot for three hours and uh, you know because I had been writing for a while and it had been off for a while and the coffee had already cooled down so anyway I'm not really sleepy. I'll probably get some food. But I will not be going to the 7 o'clock meeting tonight. That's what I was writing about. Just my thoughts on it. Um, so it's all written already. You know, I don't really want to talk about it anymore. But uh, it's all there. As much as I care to. There's a lot more. And I'll get to that, I guess. But uh, just thoughts and feelings and observations, a lot of observations, from recollections, observations on recollections, or recollections on observa observation. Hmm. But I wonder who it is that is missed. Um, as I know there are those that are currently around that miss me. But who do they miss? Because whoever it is they miss, I'm not them. And I'm not trying to be them. And I don't want to be them. They think I am someone else and other, other than who I am. I don't know who it is they think I am, but I am not that. Um, rarely do I let myself be seen for how it is I am. I... I have my, you know, you know, I let myself be seen as I am. Uh, sometimes. But even then, it's, I'm careful. So, I don't know. I guess it's... Is it trust? Um, or it's just like I've just gotten so used to, you know, being um, misled uh, or taken advantage of or deceived or, you know, people find out, you know, my vulnerabilities and uh, then exploit them. You know, like, here's my weaknesses. Don't take advantage of my weaknesses. And then they just go ahead and, oh, well, we can control him better. You know, you know this is how we, you know, the more people get to know about how I have problems with understanding what's going on, around, and it's like I can be, you know. So, I 
it's better if I just, you know, oh, I know what I'm doing. I know everything about what's going on in my situation. You know, don't try it. Yeah. You know, just keep a strong appearance and uh, don't give in to not appearing like I don't know what I'm doing. Cause, you know, if, all, if they only knew, oh. Uh, I somehow I don't know how anybody else does this thing, you know, but it's difficult for me. Um, I probably struggle more than what I should, um, but uh, it's how it is, and I don't know how to do it any better. Um, I don't think there is for me, and it's like whatever problems I have today, it's like, you know, I'll just get better at, you know living with them or dealing with them because it's like I, I, I can get better practice at my problems but I don't solve them you know and it's I've been thinking about ableism and what does that mean and uh, executive dysfunction and what does that mean um, and it's like maybe I've like I'm just I'm just so used to just forcing myself to do everything because, you know, I've always been forced. Um, and it's like, it's very stressful. And, because uh, I've always just been treated like a normal person. Even though it's like, I'm not. Even though I am, if you, if you consider normal to be, uh, you know, neurodiverse. And, because that is normal. It's just a different, it's just different. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing bad. <sighs> Even though I was, yeah, cultivated and crafted to try not to be like how I was. Because you know, I couldn't be left alone. No, I had to be I wasn't good as is, I had to be altered. Which is sad, I guess, but I guess they did what they thought was best for me. So, no one knew. And I didn't know either, you know. Everything was normal to me. I didn't know how else to think about things. But I didn't know, if, you know, how I was being treated might have been wrong or uh, unwise or, uh, you know, I was just a kid, you know. I didn't know any other childhood. I just saw, you know, so. Every, every child, I, I just figure every, every childhood's, you know, like, I mean, there's, everybody's got a story. So, it's like, I don't understand mine to be any different than anybody else's. So, whether it is or not, I don't know. I don't know what it's like to have lived through anybody else's story. I only know mine. And I don't think it was a bad one. I don't think. I know. <laughs> My brother and I, we don't talk um, about our childhood that much. Um, so that's probably not a good sign, because I know he had his own problems, and I was there around. So it's like, why don't we talk about our childhood? What was wrong with it? <laughs> I have okay memories of it, right? Yeah, I do. I'm sure it was different, but I think I think that's okay. I don't know. Anyway, I don't really want to talk about that. That's probably not... Well, I have other things to talk about. I'm trying not to be so serious. And, um, I'm delighted. If you can't tell, I'm delighted. Just with... Not everything, no. There are things that... Are, 
but uh, I don't, I don't, I don't understand much. I don't get much. Um, so the little bit I do get, I do understand. I gotta be glad for. Her. It's like I wish I understood like how I think. I wish I understood like how I think other people understand, and they just this go about just understanding everything or they think they do and that gives them peace or calm or whatever confidence maybe self-esteem whereas I'm just unsure about everything and uh, it's like it's like just guessing so it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with reality or anybody in it it's just I don't know so it's like I am just constantly feeling my way and just picking up things and I don't know where they come from and I whatever sense of reality I have it's like one day does it carry on to the next because I'm just having to reacquaint myself reestablish where everything is every day and it's like even my identity And it's like, don't even get me started. And so it's like, that's one of my problems when people ask me how I am on any given day. Like, how are you doing? I don't know. Stop asking. Because I don't know. And I don't want people to ask me. So it's like, especially early in the morning, because I haven't decided yet. I don't know how I am. I'd rather just, you know, just leave me be, let me do what I know how to do, and just let me just that. And if I talk, I talk. Most times I just, I just prefer to just not talk. So when people talk to me, they're, you know, they think I'm being rude by not talking, whereas I think they're being rude by talking. <laughs> so it's like, uh, it's like I, I wish, uh, I, I would want to be let to be made, uh, let me make the initiative. If I want, and it's like, but it's not fair to other people. It's like, I've got to be sent, eh, it's complicated. When, on my days off, I, I don't, you know, I encounter, I, I rarely encounter people that I feel like I have to talk with. And I will avoid, uh, it's like, I'll go out of my way to make sure that, oh, there is a person that looks like they might talk to me and go the other direction. You know, it's like I'll, you know, strategically make moves to avoid situations where people might feel compelled to want to talk to me, and then I have to think of things to say. And I, just a lot of times, I just rather just avoid the whole thing. And it's just like I already know what I'm planning on doing, so it's like I just want to do that and just go about and yeah. So. Feel safe, feel comfort in my, you know, zone. So it's not to be mean. It's not. It's not that I don't care. It's just that I, you know, I, I get, I care too much. So anyway. I don't really have anything to say. This is just uh, extra material. I guess I'm still thinking about uh, uh, the token that I'm not going to be getting tonight. Um, you know, it's like, what does that show? I don't know. And that's like, I don't want to draw attention to myself, um, especially there, because that makes it look like I know what I'm doing. Or it's like, or I don't know exactly, but it's like, I know I didn't really care too much when I was there, what anybody else said about how much time they had. I had no concept of time. I didn't care. Somebody could have said they had, you know, 10 years, 20 years, 50 years. I didn't care. So it's like, and I don't want to draw attention to myself because then people might ask me questions that I don't know the answers to and they think I, I know and I don't. 
whatever I say, it's, you know, you know, it's not, it only applies to me, and it's like, and I don't want anybody to say, well, that guy said that, you know, it's like, don't do what I say, don't, no, <laughs> just no, um, what works for me works for me, it's only by trial and error, and uh, I will work at my, I, I, I try to speak in generalizations to anybody, um, I will just quote just stuff without saying a thing. Yeah, you know, I'll just mindlessly, you know, it's like, what good is that? I don't. I'm sure if you're hearing it from multiple sources, the same thing, that leaves more of an impression. Because I just heard this thing, saying the same thing from six different people in three different places all on the same day. And people think that's uh, synchronicity or coincidence, and they want to chalk it up as to giving it extra meaning because they've heard it so many times. Well, it's because we're all talking about the same thing. So it's not you're in a recovery environment surrounded at all times by recovery people. You're going to hear us talking about the same thing over and over and over and over again. So it's recycled material, reused, because of the same truths. It's for a reason. The same truths are still true, no matter where you are and what you're doing. So it's like, you're going to hear the same thing. So it's not coincidence and it's not synchronicity. It's just, it's the truth. And people aren't used to hearing the truth. So I guess that's where the, it's stunning and revel, revel, revelatory. Yeah, so. It's like, I just, we just talked about willingness. Well, yeah, we're going to talk about that a lot, you know. So it's like the same thing with honesty. Oh, we just were talking about honesty. Yeah, you're going to hear a lot about that. Get used to it. So, treatment center stuff. And it's like, it's all beginner stuff. And it's like, it's never bad stuff to talk about. And I talk about it a lot. I like to say that I'm still in treatment. I never laugh. Which is its own thing. It's like, can I have that part back? I'm just gonna go ahead and just bring it back. So, so anyway, I'm not going. I'm gonna get some food. Relax and then sleep. Try to sleep and uh, and remind myself that it's like I'm trying not to feel guilty. myself to go there for the rest of my life that's unfair to me so and if I went um, then I wouldn't be I wouldn't have written what I wrote and I wouldn't have been doing this I would have been you know forcing myself to lay there to sleep because I knew I'd be going to the meeting and then having to go drive down there be there and then be thinking the entire time about how I, I, I have to work in a few hours and then trying to get out of conversations and not be drug into going someplace for like an after meeting uh, dinner of some sort to celebrate or whatever and uh, it's like I, I'm running out of time I need to take a nap before work and it's like I wouldn't have been and it's like yeah so and I can't say that they'd be they're better off without me because I'm sure they enjoy my company and I probably would enjoy some of theirs but if I'm just I don't need to be there to show my face and just prove that I exist and it's like yeah I'm not sure I exist so anyway it's very confusing to any newcomer that needs me 
You know, it's like, I don't know what to make of me. So I don't know how anybody else figures anything else out. I'm very distant and uh, reserved. Because it's like, I don't know. It's like, most of the people that I, I encounter are just very strange. And it's like, they don't know that they're strange. You know, they are just themselves. And it's like, whoa, <laughs> settle down there. And it's like, so it's, I don't know. <sighs> Treatment center. I don't, it's, I think the philosophy and the culture down there has changed um, over the course of the past year and a half. There are very few people. Uh, it's like that. I don't know where they're getting their uh, their people from. It's like, are they coming directly from prison? <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. It's like mostly the treatment center. They only seem to they've been shifting their focus to it's like as long as they got money, they don't care where the the person comes from or where the story is or what the addiction is. It's about it's about business. It feels less about the people. And it feels more about you know the business and uh, repeat customers welcome. So if you don't get it the first time, yeah, come on back. So I don't know why people think that they're gonna hear something different and all of a sudden like this this the sixth time in treatment, I wasn't ready, but the seventh time. Now, it's like, what? I don't know. I had my experience, and um, this is my first time living. Um, first time living this life. Um, I don't think I'm doing a bad job at it. I lived badly for a long time, um, but I'm living better now. So, this is my first go-round. Um, this is my first time in recovery. Um, so, it's like, I'm doing okay. For a beginner... I mean, it's my first time. It's my first life. So, cut me some slack. I'm gonna make mistakes. A whole lot of mistakes. But, you know, everybody makes them. So, nobody's perfect. Anyway, hmm. yep, I should go do something else. I don't know, probably watch some YouTube or something. Currently watching a, uh, a let's play of uh, Planescape Torment, a game I never actually played because I couldn't get it to run. Um, but it's really got a good story, well-written dialogue. Oh my gosh, the dialogue is awesome. I mean, the gameplay, the functionality, I have no idea about, but the story, it's an awesome story. I really shouldn't be going to sleep to it, though, because I'm missing a lot of it, and I have to go back. Ah. So, anyway, I might go watch some of that, try to catch up on some of the stuff I was falling asleep to as it played in the background. So. Yeah. I guess that's all I have to say for myself. It was a good day. It still is a good day. Um, still got a couple hours till sunset. So I guess that's it. Okay. So this was uh, August sixth, Friday, two thousand twenty-one. Um, this is what I was doing. For whatever it's worth, for whatever it means. Until next time.